fighting on his 32nd birthday, the Hand of Stone was back, but he was the underdog against the undefeated champion, Davey Moore. Roberto Duran entered the fight as the WBA number 7 super welterweight contender. Both fighters have been tentative in the early going here, looking for an opening, and now they open up a little bit. There's a good right hand by Duran. Roberto trying to win his third world title, this one in the junior middleweight division. Takes a right hand from Davey Moore. There's the right again by Duran and a left hook underneath. They're waging a battle here in the first round. Again the right by Duran. So Moore making his fourth title defense, finding Duran a tough bow. Hey. Moore has been dabbing at his right eye, which looks a little swollen. Durant getting inside with the right uppercut. Jab by Durant, and that looked like he might have stuck a thumb in Davey Moore's eye because Moore's eye swollen, and you can see Davey dabbing at him. Well, Durant was getting his jab in fairly well and continues to here in round two. They were exchanging a lot in that first round, and uh, Durant did take some good shots from Davey Moore and was able to sustain under them. Grand trying to use his experience over 70 pro fights. Maybe more though a champion, less than 15 pro fights. Good right Good by right Durant. Good right by both. Out. Round two. Punching back egg for Davey Moore, the champion. Roberto Duran waiting in. Both the left and the right have scored here in round two. There you see the left. Good left. fighting back with a good left right of his own. Excellent. This is the kind of wars Moore has been in in his championship matches, but he is really taking shots from Duran. That inexperience starting to show as Duran spun him into the ropes and went after him quickly. The body work of Duran is just tremendous in this second round. Feeling sluggish, Duran relaxed his attack in the third and fourth rounds and Moore became the aggressor. Roberto Duran back into his corner. He never stopped punishing Moore's body, but now he went after the head too. He's trying to play some mind games with uh, Davey Moore. Good right. There is swelling around the right eye of Davey Moore, and that may have come from a thumb. It looked like Duran may have snuck a thumb in there. And Duran is ripping those left hooks to the body. Moore is fighting him on the inside, not necessarily where I think Davey Moore wants to be, even though Davey is counterpunching fairly well. Moore needs this fight at long range. Davey Moore, who had been known to bounce around the ring, has very little spring at the moment, as Roberto Duran has come at him from almost all angles. Now you can see a lot of fights, but quite obviously you don't hear the crowd getting into one as well as they have here through the first three rounds tonight. Flat, which was rather lackluster. It has been non-stop action. You see some blood on Duran, which has come from the eye now of Davey Moore. And that left eye indeed is starting to bleed. They'll have to work on it on the corner at the end of round three. By the fourth round, the right eye had closed, and Moore was bleeding from the nose and lip. Swelling continues over the right eye of Moore. You'll remember he took a thumb in that eye back in the first round. Good right hand by Moore, but Duran just shakes those punches off. Duran looks like a man on a mission tonight. Nothing is affecting him. Moore, the 21-year-old champion, came in here a huge favorite. But Duran showing us what he's got left. Good right hand by Duran. And the hook. Tremendous body work done by Roberto. Excellent combination as Moore comes in. 
And here in the fourth, you can sense Duran punishing more and taking physical control of this fight. Good work underneath. Moore still throwing the jab in the right hand, but it's not enough to keep Duran off. Big hook by Roberto Duran. It's been a huge fourth round for the hands of Stone. Good left took downstairs by Duran. And an overhand right. Duran is landing just about everything he's throwing against a tired Davy Moore, who surely cannot see out of that right eye. It is so swollen. Moore still throwing punches, but he is tired and hurt. Duran, like a surgeon, taking him apart. Moore missing. Duran making him pay every time. Look at those shots to the body. Duran heads back to his corner to the cheers of this capacity crowd at Madison Square Garden. Ironically, this is Davy Moore's hometown, and yet it seems as if everybody in this building is rooting for Duran. Bien profundo el aire, Cholo, que es el aire lo que nos falta. En Duran's corner, urging him to do more, a mark contrast to the concern in the corner of Davey Moore, where the young 20-year-old champion has taken a beating. Keep them hands up just a little higher. Keep thinking quick, quick. You understand? Be a little more alert. By the seventh round, Davy Moore was all target. Duran buckled Moore's legs with a combination to the head. Another warning for holding from the referee. Duran clubs him with two straight right hands. No vision out of the right eye for Davy Moore. The smirk is on Duran's face. Good hook underneath by Duran. A double left hook sends Moore backwards. Davey Moore running on empty. Moore in trouble. Unanswered punches from Duran. Moore's legs are wobbly right now. The young champion in all kinds of trouble. As the champion back up, Duran drops him with that hard right hand, sending him to the floor with his back on the ropes. There he simply sat with his lower lip half out, dazed and helpless. He gamely climbed to his feet at the count of eight, and the bell rang. Duran's trainer want him to end the fight in the next round. They love what Roberto Duran is doing. I know, but going to sleep in there. Watch this action as Duran puts together an excellent combination and finishes off with the overhand right, sending more to the canvas. And that was after Moore had taken tremendous punishment in the last round. Duran, such a good combination puncher, and there is the evidence of it. Young Davey Moore, who can't see very well anyway, takes an overhand right. The swelling over his right eye is just terrible at this point. We head into the eighth, and you have to ask yourself, how much more punishment can Davey Moore take? And at what point will this be stopped? Davey Moore is just 
getting nailed by Duran. The noise in this building is deafening. And it's all an outpouring of support for Roberto Duran. Good right hand underneath by Duran. His body work's been superb. Moore fighting back, but Duran hurts him with the right hand. Every time Moore lands a good shot, Duran comes back with combination. against the ropes, takes a huge right by Duran. Moore can do nothing now, but hold on, he takes another right. Duran is just destroying him. The hook on the inside. No one is a better finisher than Duran, and he's showing you why. It took Duran just two minutes to deliver the stoppage. Duran battered more to the point that his trainer drew his blood-covered towel in, but referee Ernesto Magania either did not see it or simply ignore it. This led to the top-ranked representative Jay Edson eventually climbing into the ring and calling the fight to be stopped himself. Duran won via TKO in the round 8, becoming the 7th fighter in the boxing history to win world titles in 3 weight divisions.